tragic. Amy! Beautiful! Guess who did them? Who did them? Annika, and she put a butterfly cluster. Annika, look at your little puffs on both sides of your ears. Super cute, guys. Oh, wait, I feel like we're a little... Hi, everyone! Welcome to Broadway. Welcome. We're in the middle oh, of a Broadway dear. show. Guys! This is your first live. This is my first live. Since the engagement. Should I show them the ring? I don't know, maybe. Should Wait, I get, get it, it from its hiding spot. Okay. There's a hiding spot. Yeah. I, yeah. You guys, I'm engaged! <laughs> Okay, wait, I should tell the story. Should I yeah. tell the story, how yeah. it happened? I feel like everyone wants to know. Do you guys yeah. want to hear the story of how I got engaged? I think you do. Let me know if you want to hear it. If it's boring, we don't. We can do this, do our regularly scheduled. They, they're saying yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Saying... okay, I will tell the story of how I got engaged. Amy, will you will you join in on the story yeah, of how I got engaged? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is the ring. It's so pretty. Isn't it so pretty? Like, turn it like that way. Like... Well, okay, so we think we might be taking this down a little bit. But other than that... This is exactly what it's I wanted. So pretty. It's perfection. I, it looks really good, like that way, like. Boom. It's beauteous. Yeah. We love it. Okay. Put it back. Wait, let me put it on my hand while I tell yeah, the story. Yeah, when you tell the story, and I'll make sure you take it off. Okay. Okay, okay guys, like I have to remember, or else Crowd of Thousands is going to be a different story. We should sit down. We should sit down in the sitting place. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's sit. Everybody sit. Come on, Amy. So it all started about a month ago when I told everybody that I knew I was going to get engaged on the 17th of December, didn't I? She told she did. everyone. She was like, I knew I told it. everyone in this entire building. And then I got cold feet. I even got my nails done on Saturday. Yeah, she did. And I even went out shopping for red dresses because I wanted to look cute when it happened. Mind you, I have no idea what I'm doing the weekend at all with Pete. I just have a feeling it's going to happen that day, right? So then I contact Abby, who I felt like was, I knew that she didn't plan the whole thing, but I knew that they were in communication. So I was like, Abby, girl to girl, do I. Should I be getting my nails done? Will you take this the music down a little bit, Amy? She was like, you you might need to get your nails done one or two more times. Can you bring it down a little bit more? She was like, you might need to get your nails done a couple more times. And I was like, so it's not happening? And then I texted Pete and I was like, it's not happening? And Pete was like, no, like it's not. Pete, it he was like, Christy, it takes a really long time for a ring to get made. Like, yeah, it's not, Christy. I mean, it's not happening. So I was so sad. Yeah. I wore black to the Anastasia she was Cruz. so depressed. <laughs> I thought for months, I told everyone I thought it was happening. I told, ev I told my agents, I told my managers. She told everyone. And then like, she had to come on Sunday, she comes in and she's like, I needed to do everyone. damage control. She's I emailed like, everyone I thought I engaged. thought it. I'm not getting engaged. I told everyone. I had to tell everyone I wasn't getting engaged, right? I had to tell the world, right? So yeah. then we get to the we get to the holiday party. And Pete is a half an hour late to the ho holiday party. To the Anastasia holiday party. Oh, no. He gets there, we stay there for another half hour. So I'm there for an hour. I get to just say briefly hi to everyone, right? And then he's like, okay, we have to go to our Christmas dinner. And I was like, Pete, I'm going to leave the Anastasia holiday party early to go to a Christmas dinner when we have off on Monday. No. I was like, no. He was like, no, no, no. Please come, come. Let's go. And I was like, okay, fine. And I figured he was just making up for the fact that I was really upset that I wasn't getting engaged this weekend. So anyway, we, we get into a car and we start to drive and we're driving for like 40 minutes. And I'm like, uh, instantly thinking he had to pick a restaurant that's 40 minutes away and so I'm driving and I'm upset and I don't know why we're driving and then we pull up to LaGuardia and and we get into the airport and I'm like wearing heels so I like have bare feet going through the terminals right so I'm not you know through the through the security yeah. checkpoints and I still have no idea where we're going and we stop and we eat this like designery pizza that you know they have like a brick oven in at LaGuardia. LaGuardia actually has pretty good food. So we um we got this like specialty pizza and some meatballs and we're sitting there and Pete goes to the restroom and I text Abby. I'm like, "Abby, 
I am at the airport. I just need to know one thing. Did Pete plan this yesterday, today, or months ago? And she was like, Pete planned this months ago. So I knew something was up and I knew they were just lying to me. So then he tells me to like plug my ear so I don't know where we're going. So we get into the train, we're at first class. We're flying, for, this is the first time I've ever flown first class for anything. So we're flying first class, we're on the plane, and then I hear through the loudspeaker that we're going to Savannah, Georgia. And my uncle and aunt live in Savannah, Georgia. So I'm like, are we going to visit my uncle and aunt? And he was like, he was like, no, no, no. So we get there and then there's a car service waiting for us. And it says like Mr. Browning on like a piece of paper. And we go onto this car service and we're driving for another like 40 minutes. And then, he, and then they say we're in South Carolina. So I'm like, what are we doing in South Carolina now? So we're in South Carolina and he says he's then he, and then they say we're in South Carolina. So I'm like, what are we doing in South Carolina now? So we're in South Carolina and he says he's and then he says he's taking me somewhere special and the guy pulls up to like this gate or like this like checkpoint and then we drive for 10 minutes. So that means we're driving for 10 minutes into this property. And then we find out I find out that we're staying at this resort in South Carolina called the Montage Palm, Palmetto I don't know. Bluff or something. And so we're there and we get our, we're taken in a golf cart to our like bungalow, which is basically like a tiny house that we're staying in. And there's, and there's bicycles that we have that we can just ride around the property and it's super fancy and the, and, um, and Pete goes, let's just go out for a walk. So we go out for a walk. I didn't have my contacts, so I started to be upset because I didn't have my makeup or my contacts because I didn't know it was happening. But he had packed my makeup and my contacts. So we went back and I got my contacts on and we walk outside and there's stars like you would not believe. We could see every star in the sky and in New York you can't see any stars. So we got very emotional and then we walk over to the main office, the main house, like the main house with the concierge concierge and it's beautiful and there's this room that is a library and it's a gorgeous library and he got down on one knee and it was totally shocked I had no idea it was coming but he pulled out this book and he had written down on like his phone a bunch of stuff about me that only like my mom or dad would know and he was like once upon a time there was a girl oh, named Christy. Story. He told a story and he talked about like all the shows I had done and all this stuff. And he talked about, and there was a boy named Pete and he did this whole thing about, and then he, and then he, and then we were sitting down in these fancy chairs and he stood me up and, and he got down on one knee and, and he opens the box and I said, yes. And then we had this magical day the next day on the resort. And then in the evening we got driven to this area where there's a five story tree house and just as the sun was setting we he proposed to me again in the tree house and it was so magical so cute yeah and then i flew back and now we're here and now we're here and i'm engaged and, and i'm so happy engaged. and i'm grateful uh, and i love my boyfriend so much fiance fiance i have to get used to saying that yeah. now. but he got me good because i he you guys, know you had no you idea have, you guys he is I thought he wasn't a good actor, but man, <laughs> he is. He's a really good actor because yeah. he had me fooled. Yeah, I had no idea it was yeah. happening. Oh yeah, Chris, are you telling them? This yes, story? and Lyrica was the whole time like, I like knew. with me throughout the whole thing. She's like, let's I go shopping like, for a I was dress. Like, let's go shopping for a dress. We went shopping. Then we went and got our nails. Molly done. was like, let's go get our nails done. We got our nails done with them. And, and then, then, then we and then on Saturday, Christy was like, I think it's really happening. And then we, we, I come, I'm getting texts from Christy Sunday morning, and she's like, it's not happening. It's officially not happening. I was, and then I was like, so sure. I was like, Christy, I think the red herring is the red herring. Like, I think that he's and trying to psych was, you out. It wasn't that I was but, upset that it wasn't happening. No, it was, it was more like, that I was like was embarrassed that I really thought it was happening. <laughs> and I was telling everyone it was happening. And then I was embarrassed. It was, no, I but it was amazing. Was. And we all had a feeling it was coming. We all knew. It was more of like a... Oh, ring, ring, ring. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me give you my ring. What are we going to do? Ring. Something having to do with rings. Like single okay. ladies. Like okay, single lady. Guys, guys, get ready. Right. Bridal.
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for hearing my engagement story. I'm so grateful. I'm so lucky. I have the best fiance in the world. And I hope everyone's having a great day. Love you guys. Bye-bye.